Hello! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a sample login and registration module into your Laminas MVC Skeleton app. We can achieve that in two different ways. First one, using the Laminas Starter Kit .com website, which offers a bunch of online tools. Um, let's quickly navigate to login registration just to show what kind of parameters and components it, it requires. So in order to actually run or copy and paste the files, we need to have a bunch of the dependencies already installed. We can do that with uh, Composer install and those packages. Once we got it, um, we need to check if we need any required Lamina Starter Kit components. Uh, in this case, we need a MariaDB database connect. Um, we can quickly just open the the tool uh, and see how it actually can uh, generate the database um, and then it will just inject uh, the config files into our existing project. Um, taking into account we already have all those dependencies, let's just quickly either generate the files and copy and paste them manually or use a shell command line uh, window to actually use that. Um, yeah, let's quickly just show a a way of creating the files and then just copy and pasting them if we need them. So, um, as always, we need to select a module name and a set of properties. Let's say our registration page and the user itself, when we'll be logged in, uh, will have a uh, name, email, and let's say a hobby. Okay, so the properties are actually a list of the things which user will have inside the database and inside the uh, session. So let's press generate. Like you can see, um, there is a bunch of different files, like starting from uh, table gateways, uh, controllers, uh, views, uh, even the SQL that we have to um, run in our database. Uh, obviously, we have a setup instructions uh, just underneath, so we won't be lost where to put those files in. Uh, or instead of doing all of that manually, we can just open the exam controller, click on the shell command, then navigate to the htdocs and the laminas mvc. Uh, and let's scroll a bit down because there is a CLI usage, right? So this is a uh, template that we can use. Uh, but let's copy the example usage. Let's paste it over into the uh, command line prompt. Uh, let's just change the password property, which isn't actually, well, it's already default uh, property, so we don't actually need, actually need to provide it with a hobby. And let's press enter. With that in mind, we have a uh, information about creating all of the models, but all of those files were copied uh, automatically. So we wouldn't have to do anything about them. It's all done uh, and injected by, by the tool. The only thing left is to actually copy and paste the SQL into, for example, a uh, PHP My Admin. So let's do that. Let's copy that. Let's open a Laminas database and let's paste the contents inside the console. Control Enter and the command is run so we can have a users table which will have a name email hobby and other um, required and default uh, properties so password password salt or role in our case we're going to use a sha 512 as a encryption mechanism so it's quite safe even at uh, nowadays okay with that run, uh, what we can do is go back to the Laminas MVC skeleton and let's navigate to a default registration page for the user, which is just a slash register. We should have a form validation uh, based on name, email, and hobby. So the things which we provided, uh, but also we'll have a set of input fields for password and repeat password. So let's, for example, fill the form with some sample details and some hobby. Uh, 
let's provide a password and let's actually repeat the password but uh, with a wrong one um, so that way we can get a set of validations uh, being displayed okay so because it's a uh, out of box tool uh, obviously it displays more information than I actually need um, in production you probably want to hide all of this but it just show you how to get the uh, error messages out and in what form obviously because we didn't type the passwords uh, in correct manner for both fields. We have an error message. The user is not created, so the table is still empty. So let's say we will create a user now, so we'll fulfill the, uh, the form with correct data. Let's press register. And by default, um, after registration of the user, we are logging in that user into the system. So you can see that the URL already changed to slash user. We have all the information already available in the row set user object, which is stored in the session. And on top of that, our users table already contains that information in there. So for instance, if I want to go to a separate page, say login, and let's say we provide the same information to login in, which we just use for registration form, we should be ending up at the same slash user page. Yes. So we have successfully logged in and this is how you generate a custom login and registration feature into your Laminas MVC application. Thank you for listening.